Hey guys, it's Kevin Olson here, and today I'm going to show you how to use Excel 2013 to create a histogram with the frequency function. So the only requirement for this lesson is that you have Excel 2013 installed on your PC. Alright, without further ado, let's begin. So, for our example problem, we need to create a histogram of student grades using the following data. And we're going to use class width intervals of 10. So it'll go from 0 to 9, 10 to 19, and so on. So there's our data. Copy all that, and we enter it into Excel. We have grades column. And then we just move this over here. All right. So we label our columns and add data. So grades, bins, frequency, and intervals. Those are the four columns that we need to create a histogram. And now we're going to define our intervals. So we want to take all this data and put it into certain categories or um, intervals. So our intervals are going to go from 0 to 9, 10 to 19, and it's going to change that into a date because I wrote 1019. And to fix that, we can just select this whole column, go to number, and set it to text. So 0 to 9, 10 to 19, 20 to 29, 30 to 39, 40 to 49, 50 to 59, 60 to 69, 70 to 79, 80 to 80, 89, and lastly 90 to 99, and well, 100 plus for numbers greater than 100. All right. And now we need to define bins. And in Excel, bins are basically how we tell Excel what types of intervals we want to put everything into. So our first interval is going to be, or bin is going to be equal to the last number in the interval. So it's going to be 9. And this will create a bin from 0 to 9 and put all the numbers that are in there in 9. So you'll get it in a second once I, um, once I show you how the frequency function works. So the second bin would then be 19, 29, 39, 49, 59, 69, 79, 89, and lastly 99. And we don't need to have one for 100 because it'll automatically add one more for this um, any number greater than 99. So without further ado, I'll show you how the frequency function works. And then I'll show you what we actually did. So just type equals frequency, and you want to make sure you select one more row than the amount of bins. So for example here, it looks like I have, what, 10 different rows, so I need to select 11 rows for frequency. So we use the frequency function, and then we're going to select our data array, which is grades. We'll put a little comma in, and then we're going to select our bins array. Alright, and once we have that done, we hit Control, Shift, Enter, and that generates the um, the frequencies for each of our intervals. So from zero to nine, there's nothing. From ten to nineteen, there's two entries. So let's see if we can find those. So there's one of them, and where's the other one? There it is. So twelve and nineteen, there's two tens. So they go in between ten and nineteen, and so on. So now we have a frequency distribution type thing going on. So now that we have the frequencies, we can create our chart. So we go to Insert, Charts, and we want a 2D column chart, like this one. Once we have that up, we need to, um, instead of having these uh, labels down here, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, we don't want that. We want to use our interval labels that we created. So we can go to Select Data. And we can edit the horizontal axis labels. And we're going to select the range from here to here. And we can just hit OK. OK. And as you can see now, we have um, from 0 to 9, there's no grades. From 10 to 19, there's 2. 20 to 29, there's 1. And so on. So now we basically have a histogram. But it's not a histogram like this because we can't have these um, spaces between the columns. And to fix that, we can just double click on the columns and it brings up this um, Forta format data series sidebar thing. 
we set the gap width to um, zero, and you want to make sure you're under this um, third one that says series options. So set that to zero, and that removes the gap between all the um, all the columns. And it's okay to have empty columns if there's no data there, obviously. So now it looks like a proper histogram. We just need to give it a title. We will call this um, I don't know student grades. And we also need to give it a horizontal and vertical axis titles. So this could be the um, grade intervals. <laughs> and this is the amount of students receiving these grades. And we can just fix this a little, make it look more square. All right. And the last thing that I like to do is I like to um, click on the columns and go to the um, this little paint bucket thing, fill on line. And if we go down to border, we can set this to red, or not red, black. I'm not even colorblind. I don't know why I said red. Just a little tired. Anyway, so we set that to black, and now we have black bars around all the columns so you can... Uh, easily see where one ends and the next one begins and such. All right, so that's how you create a basic histogram in Excel 2013. Thanks for watching.